Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Cool Stuff with Kyle. Today, we're on a field trip. It's my first field trip that I've done for the channel. We're at the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force. Around here, we just know it as the Air Force Museum, but, uh, but that is what it's officially called. Uh, it has the world's largest collection of military aircraft. Today, we're here to see my favorite fastest and highest flying jet aircraft, or as they, they say officially, it's the fastest and highest flying air breathing aircraft ever made. Still holds the record, even though it's unfortunately been retired from service, but uh, we're here to see the SR-71 Blackbird. Let's go inside. I forgot to mention that Wright-Patterson Air Force Base is uh, where this um, Air Force Museum is located, and that is in the area of Dayton, Ohio, or right by Fairborn, Ohio. And of course, uh, Dayton is where the Wright brothers, uh, who invented the aircraft that took the first powered flight, were from. And so, when you first come to the museum, first you go into the early years gallery, and one of the first things you see is this. The 1909 Wright Military Flyer. There are many aircraft I could show you at this museum. There are hundreds, but uh, remember we are here to see the SR-71. But on the way there, I'm just gonna show you a few little highlights. This is a very famous plane, obviously. The actual Memphis Bell. There were movies made about this plane. I'll just show you a brief uh, view of the Memphis Bell here. Another very famous plane I have to show you when you're at the Air Force Museum. This is the boxcar. The B-29 Super Fortress that dropped the second atomic bomb in World War II on Nagasaki. The other plane that dropped the first bomb on Hiroshima, that is at the uh, National Air and Space Museum at the Smithsonian. But right here at the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force, the famous or perhaps infamous boxcar. This is a B-52 that kind of spans over this entire hangar. I just like this one because it's huge and impressive. Now we've entered another gallery and we've found a B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber. Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit. And look at what we've found, the Lockheed SR-71A Blackbird. As it says here, the Blackbird remains the fastest and highest flying production aircraft. The speed was over Mach 3. The height over 85,000 feet that it could fly to. Here's one of the engines that it would have had. This plane is my favorite just because of how fast and how high it could fly. <laughs> It was a reconnaissance plane. 
they used it uh, you know to fly over other countries and and basically spy and um, missiles were fired at this plane I believe hundreds of times and never was one confirmed to have been shot down I just wish I could have seen one fly we'll go take a look at the other side of the SR-71 here you can see it was a two-seater but a huge plane I think for a plane that carried just two people This one you can see, tail number 17976. And that is the SR-71. I think there might be a couple more aircraft here that I'll show you if you want to stick around to see those briefly, but this is what we came to see, the SR-71. A nice docent at the museum here pointed out to me that there's a balcony where you can get a really nice view of this gallery and specifically of the SR-71 here. That is cool. Let's see if we can zoom in just a little bit. Awesome. This large white plane here, very interesting thing about that plane, it's the only one left in existence. There were two of these built, the XB-70 Valkyrie, it was a supersonic jet aircraft, and it was a bomber, so it's absolutely huge. And uh, this is the only one left because the other one was lost in an accident. The other thing that we have here, you see this plane, looks a whole lot like an SR-71, but it is not. In fact, I believe that's uh, the YF-12. We'll go take a look here. Lockheed YF-12A. based on the same thing that the SR-71 was based on. Very similar to the SR-71, but a little bit different. And then back to the XB-70 Valkyrie here. We can get a good view of the front there. And we're gonna head back to the back. We are now standing underneath the XB-70 here. This thing has some huge, impressive engines on the back. I want to show you guys what these things look like. Unbelievable. One, two, three, four, five, six engines right there in a row, and these things are enormous. XB-70 Valkyrie, really cool plane. Another very famous plane they have here at the Air Force Museum, known as SAM 26000. It was Air Force One for a long time because it flew the President of the United States all the way back to John F. Kennedy. And it has flown numerous other presidents as well. You can actually go into SAM 26000 here and you can, uh, you can look through the plane. I've done that before. It's kind of tight quarters in there, but it's, it's neat. They have other presidential aircraft here too. They have a whole presidential aircraft gallery. But this one, I think, 
is the most famous one because of all the presidents that it's been involved with. You can see the seal of the President of the United States up here on the plane. It says it was the first jet aircraft built specifically for use by the President of the United States. It says that it has carried eight American presidents, Kennedy, Johnson, Nixon, Ford, Carter, Reagan, George H.W. Bush, and Clinton. That concludes our field trip today to see the SR-71 at the National Museum for the U.S. Air Force. Remember, until next time, the world is full of cool stuff. Go out and find some.